Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the breakfast show, Money Talk with Smart Robbie. I'm your host, Martin Wong. Have we got a great show for you today? Now, thank you for those of you who are joining us for the first time. If you do join us for the first time, just type 1. So at least we do know uh, that you are new and uh, we would cater some of our material totally for new first timer and thank you for sharing this video if you find the information that we share for you are productive and helps you to make money which i believe they do and also give you the update that is much needed because all of us are busy we don't have time to read news so this is where i will read the news analyze and put those klsc headlines cropped news that matters back to your pocket so you will make money. That's what the Smart Robbie is all about. So thank you, thank you for sharing. Those of you, uh, our regular fans has been sharing. We really appreciate that. Now, let's move on to our first story for this morning. All right. Now, first story for this morning is no other than our June export figure. Now, don't be alarmed that we see so many numbers. I, know, I think many of our members uh, or some of the uh, friends here who watch this, they say, wow, there's so many numbers in here. I don't really understand. But let me break it down for you. Now, we all know we came from a COVID-19 situation back in March and also in April. Since then, May and June, we have recovered. So the figures that you see here, let me just show you, just telling us our export as a country has improved. And that's why the stock market goes up. No doubt there is a lot of news that you see people on unemployment. When you go on to CNN news, the mainstream videos, many people on unemployment. But do take note, the stock market moves ahead of the economy. But what's more important, let me draw your attention to our trading partner with ASEAN. Very important, huh? top trading partner. And so far, our export figure has increased 1.3% compared to last. And with China, you could see uh, that increased somehow. You know, we have sort of reconnect back with China and that uh, uh, export figures uh, has shot up to 46.8. That's a figure about 14.8 billion. Also, Singapore has shot up and US has also increased 27%. Uh, what does it mean, ladies and gentlemen? It simply means a lot of our export, our uh, integrated circuit. Remember, we talked about those uh, last week, the sector, right? And also, this Saturday, we'll also talk about that. And also, this evening, we have sort of a special segment for all of you. So I'm just going to let you know those details. But what very important about this is that our country economy is rebounding. And that's a very, very good news. Very positive going in there. Then the question is, have you missed out on this boom? So is it the right time to buy? We'll try to answer those questions that you have. But we really appreciate for those of you uh, who have shared and all this. Thank you for your support in there. And uh, and um, this basically, this figure just merely tells you that our June export has bounced back to 8.8% with the trade surplus of 20.9 million. The much needed, uh, you know, our... Uh, export surplus to boost back our Malaysian reserve by the Bank Negara. You all know our Bank Negara is only about maybe around 100 billion US dollar. So we need to boost back up. So this 20 billion surplus is just a very short thing they can do. Now let's move on to our next article, which is in Star Business that talks about uh, the rubber glove. Now there is a lot of questions and I always get people, uh, I know some of our trade VSA members in our chat room has moved away from the rubber glove which I always tell them do you know be smart you know don't don't still linger around in the rubber glove industry but for many of the public and your first time following us let me just give you an update on the rubber glove this is from Star Business Today talks about Kosan, Hatta Lega and Top Glove. Now in this article they talk about the to the current CI that's able to break above the 1600 are driven by two stocks Hatta Lega and Kosan Dube uh, Hatta Lega and Top Glove do bear in mind I still have Hatta Lega I've been running it uh, my uh, my average price is $1.60 which I bought a long time ago like, anyway uh, this again one of the reasons why I'm still holding Hatta Lega, something I'm going to share with you tonight, don't miss it, is the DNA of the 100 to 1 share. And that will be the reason why some of you should have a little bit of rubber glove, but not at these prices in here. But let's go on to the story that we have inside here. Uh, this story talk about the continuing uh, rising ASP prices. Now, what is ASP? Is average selling price. So the story revolves around the big three top glove Kosan Hatta powering the KLCI to 1600. Now if you look on the right hand side of the screen, uh, last update I have for the KLCI is 
1.49 which is up four points and we are staying above 1600 which is a very very positive thing now let's look at the uh, the charts that i have here let me just show it in very quickly here right and now uh, today we are breaking above the old high right remember the old high is 1618 which actually we made it back in december 2019 and seven months later we are back there thanks to rubber glove thanks to hatha thanks to top glove and how many of you still have a rubber glove maybe not top glove maybe you have the second tier like comfort rubber x which i've talked about it and all started to run type it in there and let me know all right the second tier uh, that you have so those are the one that currently been doing pretty well too are uh, the second tier all right along the same line of this why you know it deserves a lot of attention as we have now is because of the uh every selling price it has gone up by 69 percent that's right imagine uh, you can mark up your selling price by 69 percent that adds up a lot of profit margin and that's why we've seen profit margin hitting more than 20 percent for most of these rubber glove maker and lead time 540 days my god 540 days is almost one and a half year by the time you order your rubber glove eh, if you wait the normal process that's 540 days from 300 days to me it's xiao it's crazy right so so people are willing to pay up so they're willing to pay up and they're ramping up a lot of production that's why the analysts again eh, are revising the hatha lega price to 1950 which we will check after this uh and uh, top glove 3690 and kosan 1940 now let's look at the the uh, uh what we have here let's look at hatha uh this morning here and uh, let me see here what is the price i think it's already reached that price already hatha live prices right and uh yes it's twenty dollars woohoo sorry rich daddy huh? imagine my average five one dollar sixty cent huh? <laughs> okay let's go on to top glove and uh this is the next one top glove okay top glove is uh let's look at top glove now top glove is only 26 ringgit and 60 cent so if you look at the end is 36 dollars 90 you may say hey that's another 30 percent up is it time to buy if you do want to buy use the um robbie trading plan in here you can go on and uh you're going to buy on the pullback which i think you should if you want to buy a new pullback which is 21 and 22 dollars right now is 26 dollars or you buy at the breakout of 27 it will come right uh it will come just another 60 more cents before you break up then that's what uh, and also let's look at kosan okay kosan and i type it in there okay so kosan we have here kosan is the livestock prices is uh, let's look at kosan right now and kosan is uh seven dollars 66 so 1940 still got about two dollars in there and let's look at the trading plan for Kosan, right? And that will tell you which is uh, buy at 1773 or you buy back at $12. I, unlikely it's going to go back to $12. If it does go back to $12, which means our KLCI is going to break down to 16602. So that's the uh, story that we have for so far for just the update on the Kosan that we have, okay? Now let's move on to the next story which around the COVID-19 you you know a lot of the industry in Malaysia which seen this COVID-19 and a lot of the local SME as well the public SME are really rushing into this in here the definitely PPE personal uh, protection equipment now this is just simple face mask sanitizers those kind of thing and this is a report which is done from the end is talking about there is a disadvantage going into this one of the reasons why we're seeing new players even property player like Iconic uh, Pekka, Notion V Tech, they will face challenges because of uh, production lead time to set up the production floor and also supply chain, getting it from the, the raw material and also getting FDA approval. Are they a bit of late? What do you what do you what do you know? What do you think? All right, let me know. Type it in there. Do you think they are late? The, uh, these fellas on the PPE because they are also competing with the big four, or the big uh, three, uh, Hatta, Kosan. Top Glove and Supermax. Will they do well? Yet to be known. I do have uh, bought some uh, face glove from Notion Retech. They're pretty good, I have to say. And they're individually packed. But not cheap, yeah? They're quite pretty pricey too. So that's something to consider because the margins are good. People still need to buy it. All right. So let's move on to our next story for the day, okay? All right. Is no other than uh, EMS. Now, those of you who don't know, EMS is for... Uh, 
electronic manufacturing services. This is got to do with Dyson and a lot of those uh, coffee makers, uh, vacuum cleaners, uh, floor cleaners, the, the air dryer, the air blades and all those kind of things. So the story revolved around that uh, EMS player like uh, VS Industry, ATA, INS has been downgraded because of the hampering demand from COVID-19 in US and Europe and Midwest. So they're saying that, look, it's not going to grow as much. That's why they downgrade because also recently the price has moved up a bit. Now let's take a look at the uh, the price that we've seen in here, ATA IMS. Okay, let's look, look look at that one here. Okay, let's look at the stock chart. Right in here, that has moved uh, recovery back in seventh of June. It's back to one twenty five, but right now it has uh, the. Uh, no demand okay will it move higher we don't know but definitely this news may downgrade okay let's look at the stock price today see whether there is a down oh still staying there so there is possible of volume how about volume volumes are very low you notice right now this is something that we teach in our master class when you see low volume right this is a sign of accumulation but if we do have a line change from here that's going to be good perhaps uh, good news will be coming soon okay let's look at the other one that we talk about in here is vs i do believe vs has moved considering because i detected it also on the uh, premium alert okay let's look at vs okay VS, yes, VS has done pretty well. And if you have gone in during the Pentagon Guider way back in May and you held on, remember there was no uh, red Pentagon. It did not hit the ATR stop loss. That's the one you see on the uh, so-called the stepping, stepping upwards red line. All right, that means going up. And today should be down, right? Because of this news. Cautious, cautious, cautious. Let's take a look at VS. And we have see zero percent okay so usually you will see all these annually news will sort of stop the price from moving upwards after a while the news been absorbed no one cares about it it will continue and that's why we see volume right this volume is uh, aging back a bit you can see here uh, let me just bring this up a bit all right for you you can see here just zoom it up you can see on the right hand side the volume is coming in here vs is getting less demand according to the analyst report what do you think EMS. Any of you who are the EMS industry who is working on that, uh, I did do a, a talk on uh, after I visited Notion VTech and to me, they sounded pretty good and uh, it all depends on the demand from all these uh, what we call household product, consumer floor cares, vacuum cleaners and uh, air, air dryer. The hair dryer, you know, the one in Dyson you see a lot when you go to shopping mall, that's something for you to consider. Let's move on to the next story that we have. Now the next story that we have comes from ah the edge ceo morning brief about gold that's right the gold fever has come back again finally when we broke through the 1800 so you can look at the right hand side i know it's a bit smaller but you can go on to your trading bill chart and look at gold absolutely for free now you can see our trade vsa package chart which is the indicator you could see you could have gone in somewhere around uh, just mid june and ride it 1700 uh, in there uh, i think Zach did cover yesterday 9 30 some of you came from there and uh, he'll probably give you a good breakdown from a technical side of volume spread analysis how gold will fare and remember once gold is in you continue to see gold news reflecting back and back i'll be covering this and now right now we can see here 1940 the question is going to be asked can go hit 2000 what do you think let me know just type it in there if you think uh 2000 is possible i think we will hit it, but the question can we go above 2000 that is still the question mark right uh, right now because of the u.s china trade war it's not getting uh, better it's getting worse uh it's always going to depend going up to the november 2020 the momentum is already there right you can see the u.s yesterday closed a bit lower in here and this is also responding to the covid uh, uh covid19 vaccine which this morning i heard russia would have one vaccine ready within two to three weeks to be distributed that is how fast but the question is how good is it we don't know so yet to be announced is who whether this whole covid 19 has been contained or not all right let's move on to the next story that we have is no other than plantation stock now remember last week we covered the plantation stock if you have not go over to youtube and watch those four plantations that they cover as plantation started to move higher now plantation tend to move in tandem with the crude oil prices so we can see right now a smaller player uh, in this case is a uh, uh, so-called small cap stock called chintex cpo plantation their net profit jump 44 percent right 
uh, increased to 11.2 million from previous year, 7.8 million. And a very positive news, which is also covered by the star business, is the additional 300,000 ton, the much needed ton to clear the backlog that we have in our port to Greece and Balkan market. Now, these are so-called the Eastern European country, which may play a different game from EU. Right now, uh, the Ministry of Trade and Finance are doing some good work with the Turkey uh, delegates and trying to export it to the Balkan market. So we will see whether the 300,000 will be additional more, but this spells very, very positive for the CPO player. And we do think CPO plantation is the next stock to move. And that's why we did that talk. After rubber glove, where do you go? Perhaps plantation. Something you want to look about and think about. Do watch those videos. All right. Now, let's go on to our next story. It's also in the uh, manufacturing, more of the contract manufacturing is no other than Globetronics. Okay, now Globetronics talks about uh, they taken a hit. Net profit fell 38.3% uh, to 5 million compared to last year of 8.1 million due to the post-COVID slowdown and people are stopped ordering, but they have mitigated the risks by looking at new orders. They are talking about it. But let's look at the chart. The chart looks pretty good. Okay, let's talk about G. Tronics. Okay, G Tronics, and take a look at it. The chart wise, ah, chart wise, it looks a very nice one. You, can you notice the railway track? That's the one, right? Uh, so we are hoping for it to break above 250 in there, just holding it up. And it hasn't made a big move compared to the other cousins, uh, like the Penta, the Vito uh, Vitrox. Why? Because you have this net profit loss that's right net profit loss now uh roby also rated it 2 out 8 not fantastic okay because of the higher let's look at the electronics in here let me just show you in here hit the stock fundamental all right then you can see uh the p is 32 times the ROE is not bad 16 percent and it pays a 3% dividend. It's still considered as a technology 3% player, but the P is a bit high. That's why it's rated as a 2. That's right. Okay. Now let's move on to the next story. All right. That we have in our section is no other than premium alert. That's right. Now premium alert, we normally pick at 9.30. Now this morning, I've picked uh, one called K1. But before that, let's look at the uh, Apps Asia. Okay. Apps Asia has gone up. Okay. Uh, that, that's the one we picked. Uh, last Wednesday. Now, the way I pick now is very simple. Anything that has a look at the structure, uh, the sector, sector is very important. Uh, uh, plantation, uh, rubber, rubber glove, la, and tech. These are the three sectors. All and gas is going to be a bit slow. So if you want to pick and you want a fast moving shares, uh, again, this is more for a very short term between two weeks to less than two weeks. Uh, sometimes you can even uh, jump out at uh, a few days. So you have a 6.5% you know, hit there. And uh, if you want to take 6%, you can do so park it in there and it's up to this morning one percent in here and let's look at the uh, trading view chart here okay okay there you go okay butterfinger again for me <laughs> okay so you can see apps asia that's the stock we move up and this is again a lot of play yeah it's a very nice breaking up the old, old high in here it will move a bit of sideways let's see okay and then it will break higher from here we will come back and see this all right so let's look at the uh, next stock uh, that i have for you is k1 which i picked for this morning in here let's look at k1 all right uh, hit the stock price k1 is up nine percent wow this morning when i look at it, it was only four percent so that's why it's better to pick at 9 30 you find it at 9 30 you go in now some of you may not know how to trade this, we have a very simple uh, uh, trading rules or uh, setup. It's on the next slide, which I have for you in here. Those of you who wanted basic, don't want to attend more than that. But if those of you who want to upgrade, we have a master class for you to learn more of this. Now let's look at K1 in here. This fella has already run, okay? But I'll still pick this because my uh, uh, testing point is actually from the uh, 10 o'clock. That's a nice one. And guess what? Can you see this, ladies and gentlemen? First time Pentagon. All right, that's a good one in here. All right, first time Pentagon in here. We're going to come back and see next week because Friday will be a public holiday. So we like to wish everybody ha a happy holiday. It's a Hari Koban for all our Muslim friends. And uh, I think they will have a good a long weekend. But stay safe huh? and observe the SOP. <laughs> okay, so we pick K1. Let's look at another one for today, uh, which is our premium alert. 
and see oh rubber rex is in there right rubber rex that's the one we we picked much earlier last month so i'm not going to pick dksh there was some talk about they are working with the uh the government the duo pharma or the pfizer for distribution of vaccine actually this is all just talk 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 money lah. then we have groptronics oh groptronics started to move isn't it oh because of the news today okay so let's look at groptronics okay and uh, groptronics is good Okay. Oh, up six percent. So we will pick Groptronics because I said before I am very biased towards the technology stock. So Groptronics is the one that we are looking for, and uh, despite the bad news is out, so we have two, K1 and Groptronics, which we will come back and check them back on Monday because Friday is a public holiday. All right, let's move on to a couple of announcements that I have. This is the uh, trades that I have for you guys. Now do take note uh, the stocks. Uh, that you have here, most of the pick end up with an average of 9% return. And you can see the right hand side is a QR code which you can use and watch the video that I have for you talks about how I pick those in there and go to the timeline that are specific bit so you can take a look at the uh, chart pattern in there. And you can see more than uh, for, uh, more, more than half, actually more than half, 14 to 15 occasion of stock pick um, uh, had the more than 15% price gain. So you can see this one is on this side here. That's the one in here. You only have two uh, uh, occasion of uh, more than 10% uh, loss. Actually, the big loss was minus 17%. Now that's why it's important you follow the uh, trading plan and have a stop loss generally uh, don't exceed more than 12 percent or 13 14 percent that way you'll be fine okay uh, do take note and uh, that's how you want to trade do test it out and do let me know too all right okay uh, there was somebody just asked me about the master class uh, perhaps yep i'm going to get back to you mr sami okay okay let's go on to our next uh, talk which is important this saturday we done our first talk it was well received thank you very much Okay, thank you for sharing with your friends in here. This Saturday talk will be on the stocks. That's right. Uh, last Saturday, we covered the sector. We're going to look at those stocks and look at the fundamentals and also the technical. This Saturday, 2 p.m. So don't go anyway and stay with me. Also. All right. So again, let's go on. But before that, a special treat tonight. Yes, that's right. Now, we, I, I found that before I talk about those stocks, which is this Saturday, it's also important that you understand the DNA. Elsa, I have to... Banyak cerita, banyak story. Because I want to talk about the macroeconomics and the reasoning and the philosophy for some of this company. That is the DNA of 100 to 1 share winners in Busa, Malaysia and how you can find them. That's right. So once you understand the DNA, so when you come for this Saturday, you can say, hey, yeah, Martin, it makes sense. Oh, Martin, it doesn't make sense. Do you have other picks? That's, that's what the whole purpose of the DNA 100 to 1 share investors. And do share this in your timeline and let them know that this talk it's once in a lifetime because I have some of these stocks already and I've been using this method to invest or trade and perhaps something I can share with you and you can make money on your own too. That's why you can find that too. All right, so make sure you catch me tonight, 9.30 p.m. on Live Happy. All right, so uh, for those of you, thank you very much for joining our Telegram. If you are first time, do join our uh, Trade VSA Trading Idea Telegram. It's a free information in there things that we talk about and if you cannot follow you can always get those information from telegram and we a lot of the early picks and stock picks or stock trade idea we will put it in the telegram absolutely free so that's all i have for uh, today for the breakfast show money talk with smart robbie i'll see you tonight at 9 30 p.m if not sooner this saturday thank you for watching bye bye